Hello, my union, the gaming union here. Welcome back to, to another bucket plug in tutorial. Oh, blah, blah, blah. so, uh, we're going to do a couple things here. Um, oh, I got a few things from testing, and whoops, no, ignore that. Uh, okay, um, so what we're going to do today is, uh, we are going to create a couple commands using a new, uh, thing. Not exactly a new thing, but new to you probably, called command executors. So they're actually quite easy to use. So let's do git command. Um, let's pick a command here. We're gonna do command test first here. And we're gonna do set executor um, new uh, cmd test command. All right, now in the cmd test command thing, we need to create them. Uh, we need to implement a class. And we actually need to uh, have some other things here. So uh, we're going to change this to args. We're going to change this to LBL. And we're going to change this to CMD. All right. Now, uh, all we need to do is uh, return true. We're going to say uh, sender dot send message. Hey, it worked an exclamation point all right so now let's build it up i already have all this stuff set up i mean you you guys should know how to set it up if not i have a video on how to set up intellij um if you guys are using uh eclipse it's a bit different you right click on your project and click a bunch of stuff export whatever um but uh intellij is cooler intellij master race okay oh, wrong folder um now you go to uh, here and then we're going to run it how about that now we go into here we have our local host and let's wait up for this to start up and let's use it up it is whoa okay now um if we do uh, command so first of all you can see it's working because uh, tab or the tab things work um, and if you tip command it says hey it worked and it looks like we're having a bit of a chunk issues here <laughs> kind of funny um, so we're gonna stop the server um, let's close out console now we're gonna do something new that was super quick I mean come on so we're gonna do something new we're gonna do uh, get command uh, and we're going to do uh, create sentence dot set executor new create sentence command. Um, and you might be thinking, what's so different about this? Now all we're doing is we're just making it useful. I mean, that's not anything new. I mean, we did that before, but. There, you might have seen something in the parameters. So create sentence. Uh, make sure I'm getting it right. I think I spelled sentence wrong. Um, <laughs> but we are going to right here. Set tab completer. Yeah. So um. Yeah, so we're gonna set a tab completer new create sentence command if you want to you can create this into a second separate class but i personally prefer putting it in the same class okay so let's change these up change this to label and change this to args and actually we can just copy paste this right over into the next one there we go okay so here, what we're going to do is just we're going to cycle through the arguments and we are going to print out the sentence that you typed in. So how you do that? Oh, whoa, that is not LBL. <laughs> OK, um, how about that? Cracking my knuckles. OK, we're going to get type in here. Uh, we are going to do string full string uh, equals uh, two quotes and we're gonna go for string s colon args we're going to make an enhanced for loop and then we are going to full string plus equals s 
and put this in parentheses s plus character space all right and then we are going to sender dot send message and just to differentiate we're going to put it in quotes and we're going to say uh no, to different differentiate we're going to put in a chat color uh let's put in like green how about that and then we're going to do full string right there okay so there's that that is a pretty simple command now what we're going to do is we are going to uh, create a few lists. So let's uh, list string, 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 uh, uh, s1 equals uh, arrays dot as list. And let's uh, just create a few uh, lists here. Um, I, you, and we, and we're going to just copy this twice, and change this to two, change this to three, change this to verbs, so love, uh, hate, and uh, let's do a funny one, how about poop, and then how, how about, uh, but we need some things that start with the same letters, so we'll say, uh, how about um, I love ham? I love uh, Hannibal, and I love um, hearing. Sure. That works. So we're gonna say if args dot length is equal to one. So if this is their first argument, then uh, we're going to check to see what it is. So uh, we're gonna say if. So oh no, we need to create a new list. So we're going to do list. Uh, actually, let's make it here. List of strings and we're going to call it final equals oh no we can't call it final we'll call it f list for final list equals or, or no list dot new array list all right now we're going to uh, cycle through uh, the first list so we're going to do four uh, string s col uh, colon s1 if uh, s or no if what is it what am I trying to do here if uh, args no if s dot starts with args zero then we're going to add it to our final list so we're going to do f list dot add um, s there we go and then we are going to return this list of strings. And really, we can just copy this over two times. So let's do that here. We're going to change this to two. We're going to change this to three. Change this to two. Change this to three. Change this to one. Change this to two. And there we go. So if we build, build, build. If you're using Eclipse, go to right-click your thing and do export, whatever. Um, anyway, so let's start our server back up now that we've built our new version of Create Sentence, which teaches us about tab executors. Tab executors are pretty cool, but they're quite complicated. Okay, so if you do slash create... Uh, create sentence all right then hit tab we get i u and we now if we start it with y it actually won't do anything and that's because we made a mistake and yes i did this on purpose just for you guys i'm not even kidding by the way i actually did do this on purpose um what you need to do is if 
S.2 lowercase. Why do you why do we need to do this? Oh, uh, O.2 lowercase. And we're just going to do this. And you might be asking, why are we doing this? This is to make it so that it isn't case sensitive. So the reason why we can't do uh where is it? Slash create sentence. So first of all, let's test to make sure this works. Yeah, it works. All right. Now if we do this, Taj doesn't return anything. If we do Y and hit tab, nothing happens. But if we do a capital Y, it returns U, which is why we added this stuff here. So we actually need to stop the server so that we can build it up here. Build, build, build. All right. And then we're going to, once it builds, we are going to set the server back up. And we're going to try this again. Now that you guys remember case sensitivity. All right. And here we go. Oh, and for the guys that caught me doing that, congrats to you. So we're going to do slash create sentence. And we're going to IUE. Now if we do a lowercase y, it works. If we do a capital Y O, it goes to you. So uh, slash create sentence, come on, sentence. I love ham. Now you might have noticed something that when we did this. So slash create sentence. I love it only returns H. And this is because of how Minecraft works. It's quite smart. So it detects that there are multiple things that start with H. And these are the only things that can come up. So it'll, it'll kind of give you a preview of what's coming up by just giving you the H there. Now if I say HA, we'll get Ham and Hannibal. All right, now if we say uh, HE, we'll get Hearing. I love Hearing. I love Ham. I love Hannibal, you know, all this stuff. And now that you, oh wow, frame rates. Okay, um, disconnect here. But now that you guys know how to do that, um, actually I don't know this, I wanna try this. Does it work? Oh my gosh, it works. I, U, we, and if we say capital Y, we get U. If we do capital W, we get we. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Yep, okay, so it even works in console. That's pretty awesome. All right, and if we say create sentence, you uh, love. Oh, it doesn't actually auto complete it, but it does give you the list of things. Okay, if you say you love Hannibal, it returns with you love Hannibal. Oh my gosh, that's so awesome, isn't it? Well, you know what? Good job. I congratulate you guys for completing this. Is a bit more programming knowledge um, than the previous ones, but trust me, we're gonna get even more into more Java related things rather than just uh, bucket plugin things. So, we're gonna try to implement all the things that Java has to offer, and I just had a voice crack. <laughs> we're gonna try to implement things that Java has to offer into our uh, new things that we have here uh, into our plugins and whatever. So soon we'll probably get into enumerations, abstract classes, things like that. It's going to be awesome. And what I say to that? Goodbye, my union.